fresh water, dishwashing liquid, extra fiber towels, a margin trowel, a low speed mixer, and a hard rubber epoxy grout float. Be careful to eliminate any color streaks from appearing in the mix, scraping the bottom and sides of the container to make sure it's mixed to the proper consistency. Empty all grout from the container and spread it out in piles over the surface as soon as mixing is completed. When grouting walls, place epoxy on a mortar board on the floor and grout vertical surfaces as soon as possible after mixing. Using a hard rubber epoxy float, spread the grout across the surface at a 45 degree angle to the tile, filling all joints full and even with the surface of the tile. Remove excess grout by holding the float at a 45 degree or greater angle and pulling it diagonally across the grout joints, similar to a squeegee. Then, place the remaining grout back into the pail. Removing as much as possible will make final cleaning easier. About 30 minutes after the grout has been time in warmer temperatures and wait longer in colder temperatures. Do not allow grout to set on the face of the tile. Fiber towels. First, add a few drops of dishwashing liquid to the cleanup water. Next, apply liberal amounts of the water to the grouted area. Using a grout sponge, with as little pressure as possible, work in a circular motion across the tiles to loosen epoxy film and to finish the joint smoothly. Drag the clean sponge diagonally along the scrub surfaces to remove grout residue. Use each side of the sponge only once between rinses and rinse the sponge after each pass. Change your rinse water every 25 to 30 square feet. Discard sponges if they become sticky or gummy with residue. Check your work with each pass. Clean and fill any low spots and make repairs as needed. Start your final cleaning approximately one grout sponge. Work in a circular motion across each tile to loosen the remaining grout residue. Then, Drag the clean sponge diagonally along the scrub surfaces to pick up any leftover film. Rinse the sponge after each pass, using each side only once, remembering to change the rinse water every 30 to 40 square feet. As a final cleanup step, drag a damp, clean microfiber towel flatly across the tiles. Now perform a final inspection of your work, protecting the surface from light traffic for 24 hours and from heavy traffic for 72 hours.